so if a recommender asks you for guidelines for the letter of recommendation, what should you tell them? Like in terms of length, what, I, I don't know what other guidelines I'm supposed to give, but. Um, I'm not sure about this, but I think Anne Levine's law school admission game might have a couple examples of letters of recommendation. Yeah, it has some examples, but I don't, should I like give the recommender the book or like, I, I don't know what I should tell. I don't them. know. You could screenshot it and send it to the recommender. I mean, the thing is the letter needs to demonstrate that the recommender actually knows you and it's meant to be, I mean, the instructions are there. Like the, what, what's the prompt? The prompt is like, can you testify to Tatiana's promise as a law student? And so it's going to be a professor or a boss, uh, ideally, and it's going to, and the letter needs to just say nice things about you. Um, I don't think you need to overthink it, man. The letters of recommendation are kind of like a reality check on whether you're insane or not. Um, some of you are actually insane. I've been doing this for a long time and uh, I have, Good evidence. Get me drunk sometime and I'll show you physical evidence of the insanity of some uh, law school applicants. I actually did have a stalker one time, y'all. Um, and it was fucked up and weird. But uh, anyway, <laughs> besides that, uh, you know, like that person, if she would have gone out and tried to get letters of recommendation, she wouldn't have been able to because she was that weird. And um, I think that's basically what they're looking for. You know, it's it's like, let's see if you have the judgment to ask the right people. Let's see if you can get an actual boss or an actual professor to vouch for you. As long as that person knows you and writes nice things about you, I think it's totally fine. Um, you might consider what aspects of your candidacy you would like that person to highlight so if there's something specifically that you did at, at that job for example and you know you're not talking about it in your personal statement and you want to make sure the admissions committees know about this one you know project you worked on or whatever you might suggest to that person that they write about that particular topic but otherwise it just needs to be you know i mean i've heard crazy shit man like is it okay if I have my brother write me a letter? No, it's not okay to have your brother write you a letter of recommendation. Or should I go oh. get the partner who doesn't even know me to write a letter because they'll do it as a favor to whatever, you know, or like my cousin is Diane Feinstein's uh, nanny. Should I have Diane Feinstein write? It's like, no, <laughs> dumbass. It's supposed to be like, follow the damn directions, okay? Somebody who knows you, somebody who trusts, you know, respects you, likes you, is gonna write nice things about you. In other words, otherwise it's totally fine. Nathan. Yes. I actually have a question on that since you said, which you just said is dumb, but so my uncle was actually a chancellor over a law center and he was the attorney- He's dumb, no, no. Attorney general of Louisiana. No, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't care if it's Barack fucking Obama. Do not okay. do that. Okay. Unless oh, unless you worked for Barack Obama, Barack Obama is not an appropriate person to write you a letter. Even of if he was like over the pre-law. Okay, pre listen. Okay. okay. I'm going to mute you. It is totally fine. I'm, I'm going to, well, you can unmute yourself, but um, <laughs> it's totally fine to have that person reach out and make back channel contacts, okay? If you can actually get Obama to pick up the phone for you, by all means, get Obama to pick up the phone for you. And maybe if it's literally Obama, <laughs> he's gonna actually write you a letter, maybe that's fine too. But just like your uncle is not appropriate, I'm sorry. That's not, your uncle can do a lot for you, but don't have your uncle write you a letter of recommendation. I, if I was on an admissions committee and I saw that your uncle, who you never worked for, wrote you a letter, you would be immediately denied from my school. I would say, this is an error of judgment. 
she was not able to get anybody else in the world to vouch for her besides a family member. This is not a boss. This is not a professor. This uncle has no ability to testify to your promise as a law school applicant. Uh, I would, that would be just a bad enough error of judgment that that would be like an instant deny if I was making the decisions. Um, I have a question to kind of piggyback off of that. Is that okay, um, Brittany? I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I was sorry. Like I was yeah. mean, Brittany. Is that okay, Brittany? Yeah, I just, well, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. So I'm not going to ask him now. <laughs> so that's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're fine. And I'm glad you asked the question. That, that's, that's totally great. Okay. Sorry, Natasha. Um, so my son's father and I own a business and it's been about five years or so. So I do have other letters of rec, but they're not recent. So the only person who's really seen my, um, I guess, like work ethic in the recent five years would be him. So is it weird to get a letter of recommendation since we're business partners? Who, who is this? I'm sorry, I've missed the- Oh, beginning. my son's father. Um, hmm. But you've actually worked with this person? Yeah, we've owned the business for about five years now. I think that's fine. I mean, you don't put that it's your son's father. No, definitely, definitely okay. not. It's fine. As long as they don't know that, then right. it's your business partner. They're writing you a letter of recommendation as your business partner. I think that's totally fine. 